Welcome to a virtual field trip to the Cape Fear Raptor Center located in Rocky Point, North Carolina. Do you know what the word raptor means? A raptor is a bird of prey. They hunt and feed on other animals. Raptors include birds like hawks, falcons, eagles, vultures, ospreys, and owls. The goal of the Cape Fear Raptor Center is to help sick and injured raptors and other birds. They rehabilitate injured birds with the hope of releasing them back out into the wild. For the raptors who can't be released, many of them become educational ambassadors. We will meet some of these educational ambassadors as we go through the field trip today. These special birds and the staff of Cape Fear Raptor Center welcome visitors who want to learn about raptors and the important role they have in our ecosystem. <coughs> the hoot you just heard is that of a barred owl, like Adelaide here, who is one of the educational ambassadors at the Cape Fear Raptor Center. Barred owls are common in our area, and you may have even heard one if you have been outside at night. Adelaide is fairly young. She hatched last year. Owls are known for their soundless flight, which allow them to sneak up on their prey like mice and other rodents. Adelaide has what is called noisy flight because her wing was broken from falling out of the nest. She was rehabilitated at the raptor center and her wing has healed. Although she can fly, she is not soundless like other owls. Isn't she beautiful? Next, we will meet Pip and Squeak. This is their home at the raptor center. These little guys are eastern screech owls. They live in the marshy woodlands and eat bugs, reptiles, and small mammals. Pip and Squeak are nestmates who were found together as babies. The tree that their nest was in was cut down by loggers. Both owls have damage to their eyes from the fall from their nest. Pip's coloring is called gray morph, and Squeak's is known as red morph. Here's Squeak demonstrating how the raptors are weighed at the raptor center. Each bird is weighed daily to make sure their weight is where it's supposed to be. This fellow's name is Kevin. He's a Mississippi kite. He's just a few months old. Kites are interesting because they are one of the raptor species that do what's called hunting on the wing. This means they can catch large insects and eat them while flying. Now say hello to John Snow. He is a fish-eating crow and one of the birds who is being cared for at the raptor center. He caught West Nile virus from a mosquito bite, but is making a remarkable recovery. He lost many of his feathers, but they are starting to come back in. And this is Mac. He's an eastern screech owl, like Pip and Squeak. He is staying in the isolation ward right now while he recovers from being hit by a car. He was most likely hunting at night on the side of the road. The isolation ward is for the raptors who need a little more peace and quiet while they are recovering from illness and injury. The other birds in the isolation ward didn't feel up to having their pictures taken. You can understand that, right? No one likes to have their picture taken when they aren't feeling well. The educational ambassador birds have their own fancy outdoor enclosures or cages called mews. In the first mew, we will meet Oliver and Stormy. They are both osprey. You may have seen osprey and osprey nests if you have ever been out in our intercoastal waterway. This is Oliver. She came to the Raptor Center with an injured wing, but she has been rehabilitated and luckily will soon be released back into her natural habitat. And here's Scott. He's one of the Raptor Center staff. He's going to tell us a little bit more about Stormy. Stormy's one of the educational ambassadors at the Raptor Center. So this is Stormy. He's a hatch here, osprey. There's a lot of them around here. He's a fish-eating hawk from the coast. He fell out of his nest, and you can see he had a broken radius ulna as a result of falling out of the nest. But he's really neat. He's one of our newly permitted education birds here at the Raptor Center. Stormy is an unusual osprey because he is glove trained. That means he will sit on his trainer's gloved hand. Another neat thing about osprey is that unlike other raptors, they are social birds. They don't mind being together. It is difficult for an osprey that is not in its natural environment to learn how to eat. There are several ospreys here at the raptor center that help to teach hurt osprey how to eat fish. 
Another educational ambassador is this turkey vulture named Zach. This kind of raptor often gets a bad rap because they are not too attractive, they smell bad, and they eat carrion. That's decaying flesh of dead animals. Pretty gross, right? But turkey vultures like Zach are one of the most important birds in our ecosystem. They are the cleanup crew. They have amazing immune systems and can eat things that would make other animals sick. They don't have as much talon strength as other raptors. Talons are what raptors' feet are called. So, turkey vultures use their beaks to tear the flesh and meat of what they eat. Did you notice that Zach doesn't have feathers on his head? That's an ingenious design so bacteria from what he eats doesn't come in contact with his feathers. So I bet turkey vultures are a lot more interesting and important than you thought, huh? Next we'll meet Opie. He is a two and a half year old red-tailed hawk, one of the most common hawks in North America. Although Opie was able to fly after he healed from a wing injury, he became an educational ambassador because he could not gain altitude while flying. That means he can't fly high up in the sky where you see other hawks soaring. His permanent home is now the Raptor Center where he helps visitors learn about raptors. You'll notice in this photograph that some of his feathers look kind of ragged. That's because he and the other birds here are molting. Molting happens in the late summer and fall. It's when birds shed their old feathers to make room for new feathers. This handsome guy is Archie. He is the last educational ambassador we will meet on our virtual field trip today. Archie is a great horned owl. The great horned owl gets its name from its ear tufts that look like horns. The great horned owl is an apex predator of the owl species. That means that all the other kinds of owls that are in the area will leave when this guy shows up to hunt. Another cool thing about owls is that they have 14 vertebrae in their neck compared to the seven that humans have. This allows them to turn their heads almost completely around. Here's Scott again to tell us about the incredible strength that Archie has in his talons. So look at, check him out down here. See his feet? Look at the size of his talons. Wow. It takes a 23 pounds of, of force for you and I to open one of those talons up. So they can produce, you know, when you think about that in PSI of what the, the tip of that talon is, it's close to 400 PSI of strength within their talons when he walks. Wow. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed your visit to the Cape Fear Raptor Center, meeting the birds and learning about the different types of raptor species. Be sure to check out their website where you can see more photographs and videos of the raptors, find out about their various educational outreach events, and learn how you can support this amazing nonprofit organization.